The party is officially underway. It's the Tigers' home opener, and things are picking up here around Comerica Park downtown. The tailgate started about 20 minutes ago at Grand Circus Park, and there's already, I'd say, about 100 people in there. Oh, you know, you could just feel that little shift in the energy about 20 minutes ago. You could start to hear the music going. The food trucks are all set up, and they are all the smells, lined up. You the can smells. smell <laughs> the yummy, yummy food. I mean, it is. It, the party's underway. The party is underway, and the party will continue, of course, in Comerica later on. First pitch just after 1 o'clock. The gates are going to open at 10.30. The Tigers say be in your seat by 12.35 because they have some pregame ceremonies leading up to the first pitch. And, you know, talking about Comerica, it underwent some upgrades in the off season. They got a new video board. They got some new audio stuff and a sensory room as well. And you can even hear the PA system from where we are, too. It sounds absolutely fantastic. Alicia Bergio has much more on some of those new upgrades. It's the time of year Tigers fans have been waiting for, opening day. And this season, when fans step foot inside Comerica Park, the sights, sounds, and smells will surely hit a home run. It's going to be jamming. It's going to be loud. Comerica Park is setting the bar high for baseball fans. Really, the fan experience is probably the one thing that is on a pedestal this year. Taking fans into the ball game quite literally. This season, Comerica Park revitalized its sound system surrounding the stadium. Really trying to make fans connected to the game when they're walking around. And check this out, an upgraded video board measuring just over 15,000 square feet. The second largest in Major League Baseball, brand new, high definition, the highest end technology we can get. Also new this year, a sensory processing room with toys and tools to create an inclusive and calming experience for those with sensory processing needs. As a Culture City ambassador, as well as an autistic man myself, it means the world to see the community come around individual disabilities to help pave a way for everybody to experience the game at their own pace. The Tigers rolling out fun merch at the D-Shop as well. Get a look at these t-shirts, hats, and polos. Our merchandise lineup is certainly um, second to none. There's always an evolution of new items coming in. Let's not forget about fan giveaways for those first 15,000 fans who enter the stadium every Saturday home game. We're really focused around things that our fans enjoy, things that they can wear, things that they um, can commemorate. We have bobbleheads, we have um, a hockey jersey. Of course, the best for last, food. Always a fan favorite. And this season, Comerica Park did not disappoint. We were ready to surprise and delight. The menu, adding local favorites, including Slow's Barbecue. This year, we're going to be doing Slow's Burritos. Basically, barbecue, roll it up, put them into one pound tortillas. From smash burgers stacked high, a variety of wings, sandwiches, to even bowls from Breadless with all the fixings. Ground rice, halal chicken or falafel, avocado, sloncho avocado dressing, black beans, roasted peppers, and caramelized onions. The culinary experience is top notch, something for everyone. We have it. We have it. If you're looking for it, we have it. Truly um, an experience from the second you walk into the ballpark to the time that you leave that is memorable and something um, that certainly will make you want to come back time and time again. At Comerica Park, Alicia Bergio, CBS News, Detroit.